There's another tool that provides the same kind of information as host does, but in a more technical and complete form. So the host tool shows more human-readable information, spelled out in English sentences, like such and so name is an alias for this other name, or this name has address 52.25.84.3. The dig tool shows the same information, more or less, but in a form that's more readable for scripts and is closer to the way that it's stored in a DNS server's configuration file. Let's take a look. So here I did dig www.udacity.com, and here we see a question section that says, what is the request that we sent to the DNS system? And an answer section that says what we got back. See, here's the name that host says was an alias. And we can see, as we saw before, alias was done with CNAME. And here's the name that host said it was an alias too. And likewise, these names have A records with the IP addresses. But DIG also gives us other information. It tells us what server answered our query. It tells us some metadata, like when the query was answered. And it also includes some other fields that say how the query worked. We won't go into those in this course, but it's worth noting that you can get a lot of information out of DNS this way.